Ireland is surrounded by water. It is widely acknowledged that the fishing industry has huge potential to be a valuable part of our economy, as well as being sustainable. However, the present situation is one of uncertainty. Has the sun set on Ireland's fishing industry? Well, we're finding that the, the production of fishery resources has changed dramatically over the last hundred years. Uh, we've seen depletion in some of the most um, popular commercial uh, species. But the good news, though, is there are efforts to improve the situation in Europe. And um, one of those efforts is called Ocean 2012, or looking to reform the policy that's currently in place to manage European fisheries and hopefully make improvements for the future so we can look upon a sustainable um, fishing industry. There is evidence to suggest that Irish fisheries have in the past been very productive, especially in the medieval to early modern period. At one point, fish were the second largest export from Ireland. Fishermen came far and wide to exploit our abundant marine resources. Irish merchants established trading routes with Europe and the New World, exporting fish and other natural resources, whilst importing luxury goods such as wine and textiles. Hello, my name is Jessica Jones and I'm a PhD candidate at the Trinity College Dublin. I am based in Trinity Longroom Hub, which is Trinity College Dublin's Arts and Humanities Research Institute. It provides the perfect environment for interdisciplinary research. Here, the use of new technologies in the arts and humanities is promoted and encouraged. So Jessica, what is your research aim? Well, my research aim is to examine Irish sea fisheries in the medieval and early modern period, up to the apparent neglect of the industry in the 19th century. Can we identify when sea fisheries began to be exploited commercially? What scale was this commercial exploitation? And what are the causes of its underdevelopment and neglect? I am working retrospectively from the 19th century sources, as these are extensive and mostly complete. There are several data sets I could extract from these sources, for example trade statistics, government subsidy payments and so on, but it would be extremely difficult to achieve a continuous data set throughout the time period, as older sources are incomplete and often confusing. It is my objective to provide a detailed picture as possible, therefore I'll take an interdisciplinary approach using methods from archaeology, environmental history, historical marine ecology and historical geography. One such methodology is using a Geographical Information System, or GIS, to analyse and use mapping outputs to investigate the relationship between coastal fishing settlements and urban centres and markets. I will examine the changing dynamics in the fishing industry over time and help place Ireland in a wider European fisheries context. This interdisciplinary project is funded by the Innovation Alliance and it is one of 10 studentships offered by TCD under the theme Sustainable Society. I hope that my work will contribute to the current and very relevant debate about the future of fisheries management by highlighting past successes and failures and providing historical context to the many pressures affecting the industry. <laughs>